Welcome to day four of the 14 day food prep boot camp. Today we're gonna to talk about how to prep. So the how to prep is going from paper to the kitchen and everything in between and cooking everything, that's prep. So the first thing you wanna do is set a day. Set a day that you're gonna food prep every week. This will make it simple, this will make you consistent, and this will keep you on track. Whichever day you choose, you wanna make sure that you're committed and that you turn this into a good habit. All right, so you got your day, you got your shopping list. So you get to the store. You want to make sure that you stick to that shopping list that you made. You made it for a reason. Don't go off going and buying all this other stuff. Make sure you stick to your list, unless you find some really good sales. Of course, you're always gonna save money if you find the two for $5 or you know whatever it may be on maybe switching out some proteins, switching out some veggies. Find the deals and then that will be acceptable to go off your list. The only other option you have is making a backup plan on your list if you have some crazy kids that come in and clean out your fridge every day. So you might wanna think about a backup plan. The other thing you wanna do is get the family involved. Get everybody in the car, everybody goes to the store, you know, we take our son AJ, he gets his cookie when he's at the store, he looks forward to it, and we, we make it a habit as a family. We do everything together. So you get everything you need. You get back home, unload the car, make sure you do it in one trip. I want you to carry everything in one trip. Okay, I do it every time. Bags all up my arms, hanging out of my back pocket. I carry one trip. One. The first thing you want to do when you get all set up is make sure you start off with a clean kitchen. It, anybody who's food prepped knows how messy this can get and it can get messy real fast. So you want to make sure you start with a clean kitchen. The last thing you want to do before you start cooking is prioritize what you're going to cook. If your spaghetti squash takes an hour, your chicken takes 20 minutes, what do you think you're going to be cooking first? Okay, you want to work on our time management here. So great. Those are my top tips, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. I put together basically what I did this last Sunday to prep for my week, and I'm prepping for three, so there's quite a bit of food. So don't get overwhelmed, and I hope you guys enjoy. Later. What's up, how's it going? Just wanna give you a little breakdown of what I got going on today on my food prep Sunday. Okay, so you can see here, we got a ton of veggies. So all of this stuff is kind of left over from the week. I like to go through and kind of clean my fridge out. I had some old limes, an old bell pepper. The tomatoes were starting to look, get a little soft. So I'm gonna throw those in. Uh, I didn't finish off one of my bags of Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna be throwing those in my pressure cooker with all my chicken. This is a ton of chicken in here. I think it's almost five pounds. So I'm gonna be going crazy and trying to get a really good cook on those. Uh, I got some hard boiled eggs going. Look for my video on how to make the perfect hard boiled egg. <clears throat> There's a little trick I do that makes them peel so easy. Over here I got some tri-tip. This is going to go on the rotisserie for a few hours and it's going to be amazing. While that's going on I'm going to throw on these New York style sausages. These are going to end up actually being my breakfast. And I love the spice that, that these have. Uh, right here we have some mahi mahi. Um, these are very simple, just some lemon juice, and what did I use? I used the Lime, Lime Mrs. Dash. Really like those. And here we have some tilapia for fish tacos. There, get that in the middle there. And again, just lemon juice, uh, some green onions, and good to go. So that's what I've been up to. Hope you guys have a great day. I didn't know it's terrible. And that way you have time management. And bit bit bit. And uh, why can't I talk? So you want to start the spaghetti the spaghetti spaghetti squash first. Bit bit bit.